It's cold, cold right now. This is the finals, best pro shops US Open, best fishing tournament, and a chance at one million dollars. So this is the first day of the tournament. It's absolutely freezing out here in Missouri right now. It's literally mid 20s, all foggy out here, so it's moist, like a moist cold. And uh, yeah, it, it's interesting, and it's gonna be a fun tournament for sure. And we finished up six days of pre-fishing. I filmed some of it, but it was tough fishing, and uh, we kind of got something figured out. So and we're gonna try our best to film this tournament. And uh, the only thing is, in this really cold weather, that sometimes you know cameras don't like to to behave because it gets too cold for them for some reason. But uh, like I said, we're gonna try our best. So our boat, 65. So we're going to be in the second wave. So to start the tournament, there's 350 boats in this one. Only 200 get to go until tomorrow. So hopefully we can make that cut. And then the third day, it's only 50. So for everybody here, the goal is to make it to the third day. Now that's obviously our goal. So we're going to try our best. And uh, man, it is beautiful out here, but it is pretty cold. 28 degrees or something like that. And we just traveled about a quarter mile to get down here. Where are those hand warmers at? <laughs> <laughs> 5.59. Man, they hooked it up with the lunch. Look at that. This is the breakfast. Oh yeah, I got me two nice warm burritos, some sauce. I got a little Nature Valley chew and uh, some like bread or something. So I'm about to go ahead and eat some breakfast. Now hopefully it doesn't mess my stomach up when I'm out there trying to catch a big one. But first place is a million dollars cash money, a new truck uh, for each contestant and um a new bass boat for each contestant and an absolutely massive trophy also big bass is a brand new boat and then there's a bunch of other little side prizes and whatnot so it's a really cool event here and uh here in probably 30 minutes or so they're gonna start letting boats go so somebody here is gonna get really really happy with that first place win so you know obviously we're hoping we can get that like everybody here we shall see they haven't let anybody go yet till this fog clears up it's just a safety hazard to have all the boats go when there's this much fog around. Man, that fog is pretty cold. It's like a more wet feeling. Look at this. The whole boat is frozen. My reels are getting frozen. My baits are frozen. Senior back there is frozen. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you to leave your lights on till you get to your first stop, just in case you run into some fog. Use your own judgment on running. If there's a bank of fog, always slow down. Josh, you are free to go, Andrews. Have a great day. Boat number three, Owen and Sean. Y'all have a great day. Aaron and Anthony, boat number four. All right, so we're boat 65. Well we'll be headed out soon. All right, guys, well, that's a wrap. Three keepers. Was hoping for a few more, but well, I was hoping for at least a limit, but uh, it's a very tough bite. Three should hopefully do good. If I had a limit, I'd be sitting very, very comfortable, but we're headed in right now. Very cool, very fun. Had an awesome time, and uh, we're about to go in. There's a look at the bass, there's three of them. Two spots, or two smallies and a spot. So, hopefully that does good. Fingers crossed. Hopefully a little over six pounds. I'm hoping for seven or eight, hopefully. All right, guys. So, the results came in, and we're sitting, I think, tied for, I think it's 125th place, which obviously we were wanting to get a little bit higher than that. And uh, we knew coming into this tournament, that when it came around that a limit was going to get you extremely high in this tournament because the bite's been tough and um going in i was really hoping for a limit and at that time i had missed what seemed like a good fish broke one off inside of a brush pile that felt like a really good fish too so we were watching him on the live scope i had flipped into a brush pile he bit obviously hooked him and then he got tangled up in the brush pile and i couldn't get him out so he broke off inside of that and it, it was just a little bit frustrating but 125th we actually made it to the top 200 so we're getting a, we're getting a fish tomorrow and it's getting late right now so I'm gonna have to head to sleep wake up early again get ready for tomorrow so uh, we got a lot of weight to catch up to we were at six pounds just about even like 6.02 or something and uh 50th place 
which is our goal is that like 10 like almost 11 pounds right now I think so we've got um, four maybe five pounds we've got to make up somewhere so realistically for us to get top 50 tomorrow we've got to get you know a killer bag which I really think we can and uh, you know we'll just see but it turns out a lot of people had a hard time um, it was almost like I think it was over a hundred boats that didn't even catch a fish so it was definitely a really tough bite and we knew that going in like like I was saying our goal was five fish and um, you know there there was a bunch of different things that happened that didn't lead us to catching those fish but um, tomorrow's a new day we're gonna go ahead and try a few different techniques that we had practiced during pre-fishing one of the reasons that we didn't catch our five during pre-fishing we did get five bites but one of the reasons we didn't catch five is uh our coves that we had scouted out that we had literally fished the day before the tournament scouting out there was a lot of shad in our coves a lot of bass in our coves everything we had pinned up and everything and um everything had just moved out that night i don't know where all the shad went where all the bass went but literally we went from seeing 10 15 bass in some of those trees like big schools to maybe one or two here and there so it definitely definitely slowed down on top of that because of all the fog we actually got two hours less to fish just for our whole tournament day so you know two hours is pretty long especially for the first thing in the morning maybe just maybe we would have done it but once again no excuses we're getting ready right now for tomorrow we got all of our rods and a uh, reel set up new baits a lot of new and interesting stuff that we're going to try tomorrow to see if we can get a little bit bigger bite because once again we're going to have to get that nice size bite to make it to the top 50 the next day so i'm interested to see if we could do it um bass pro shops also hooked us up with some awesome gear look at look at this now i'm all wrapped up with jerseys and stuff that's pretty cool so if you make it to the top 50 he gave everybody this because he wants sponsor friendly clothing obviously he doesn't want you wearing something uh for live tv that's not going to be kind of like a you know what sponsoring and bass pro shops and all that so everybody got some nice neat jerseys jackets and all that kind of looking like a professional bass fisherman for once <laughs> i'm excited i'm about to call tonight right now it's already about 11 o'clock and i gotta wake up about three o'clock to get out in time and uh, tomorrow we're going to be one of the later boats, which I'm actually excited about because I think that the bite gets better later in the day. All right. Day two of the tournament. Good luck. We're going to try our best to make up for this lost weight. But, you know, we made top 200. I think we accomplished a lot in this tournament already, even getting this far and just having a good time learning a lot. But um, we got a lot of weight to make up. If it happens, it will be an absolute miracle. What do you think? Miracle. We got to get five fish, so that's the number one yep. thing. I'm pretty confident. Pretty There's confident. A, oh, they made it. <laughs> nice. They made it. Awesome. For, for Africa. <laughs> Thank you, you too. Yeah, so uh, that guy was like a, our neighbor in our Airbnb for a while. but I saw him every morning for like seven or eight days, getting the boats ready, parking them, yep. pre-fishing. Yep, so uh, we're going to try our best. we got a whole bunch of new lures. We're going to try a little bit of new stuff and kind of pick up our pace and uh, see if we, that won't produce a little bit better bite and a little bit more bites. But, um, like, yeah, I'm ready for this. We're going to try our best once again. And uh, the fish just got to participate, and we've just got to put that bait in the right spot. All right, guys, we're getting on a good bite today. We're finally figuring them out. This is the first coal my dad and I have ever had, senior and I. We didn't get to coal yesterday. We didn't get a coal in Havasu, and we're coaling because I just caught literally probably like a three pounder. So here you go. I wish we figured out this bite yesterday, man. We would be we would be high in this tournament right now. Because look at this, guys. Look at this. They're only upside down. Don't worry about that because we catch them so deep out here that their swim bladders are still full. So they go upside down but they're spitting shot up like crazy in here but um they're still perfectly healthy man oh man i feel i feel good that we figured it out and i feel bad that um we didn't figure it out yesterday because it would have been so cool so so cool to catch a limit yesterday if we would have had this bag right now that we've got yesterday we would seriously be like top 30 already i guarantee it 
we've got probably 11 if we're lucky 12 pounds but i think around 11 maybe I, I don't know i haven't been looking at the size of fish but there's some nice ones so hopefully fingers crossed that this makes up some ground i don't know though because obviously whoever caught big bags yesterday they're gonna be probably catching limits today too because the bite's been halfway decent so look at this guys see we're in 81 feet of water that one that i just caught was probably in the 20 to 30 mark but a lot of them we're catching are these fish that are under under the the shad like there's a fish right there these are the fish we're targeting we're jigging down deep from them. And that's why those bass you saw were actually upside down because their swim bladders when you pull them up so fast they expand i think it is and um it makes them float this this is what we're doing right here you can see seniors up there jigging so that's the goal this spot treated us well we might have spent a little bit too much time without a bite but we definitely caught a limit in this one cove so um i'm super happy about that we got a cold one fish screen's a little dirty well that's our tournament my gopro batteries i didn't have a lot of them but i got some of those fish catches on camera you happy with today's turnout so blessed i mean we, we caught a fat sack today but there's only one reason why that happened and the man upstairs we figured them out pretty good today it's 310 we got to check in by 320 so today's over we got five fish sounds like today was really tough for everybody else so it <clears> is a true blessing if this happens because we caught six pounds yesterday and we probably got about 10 maybe 11 today and uh, I'm not I'm not really sure what it's gonna take but we might be there we're gonna be right there knocking on the door maybe if, if they're telling the truth with all that stuff so uh, fingers crossed but we caught a limit today go out guns blazing instead of down at the bottom Somebody's got to carry. You can just make this far, I can tell you that. 1456. Not going to quite get it done, but thank y'all for being here anyway. All right, we got another Army man right here, don't we? Two day total of 1421. Not quite, fellas. Not quite. Good job. Thank you. Family team member Big Bass is 453. Y'all got it? Come on. I think we need some excitement up here. Hello, bud. How are you doing? Adrian and Adrian Jr. Yes, yeah, so there you go. Yesterday. Give him a shout. Had a lot better day today. This man has served and protected our freedoms also. We appreciate it, okay? Yeah. 602 yesterday. Doubled it today. Two day total is 17, 14. Not just out almost of the made it. You needed yesterday and today to be the same way. Nine nine. You gave them all they wanted. Good job, fellas. Good job. All right, boat 9 9. Hello, men. That's Timothy and Fran. That's the party now. <laughs> what? Maybe they said 18, 18, 17. I hope I do great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Two pounds plus cross crop on that long pole. Yeah. She got up there and she couldn't lift it up because that nearly fell off into the water. I was leaning over trying to get the line back. Uh, you too. Take care of it. You haven't waited. Dang it. You missed on the first one. Good job, guys. It was nice meeting you. If hope we, you had fun anyway. So. If we would have shook your hand this morning, we would have had better luck. Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like you had a pretty good day anyway. Yeah. It was fun. fun. It was uh, our first tournament, too, at all. So it, was, it was a good experience. Yeah. yeah. Next year, right? Yep. Do it again. All right. Nice hey, good luck, guys. Thank you. So, Adrian, how do you feel? I feel like we messed up the first day, to be honest. <laughs> we did good today, actually. Uh, we figured them out. The problem was that yesterday we made the mistake. We were targeting the wrong fish targeting the wrong fish, the wrong strategy, and we knew coming in today we were going to have to make drastic changes to improve our weight, and uh, we made those changes that were necessary, and it worked out. It really did work out, but, you know, yesterday we only caught three fish, so that was the problem. If we would have done what, what we did today, yesterday, we would have made it easily, but not today, so just how, how it works. We had a great time, and like you said, we caught fat ones today. Fat ones that'll probably, if we would have did that for two days, we would have been good. But uh, yesterday, it was a struggle. We fished completely different. So we figured it out. We learn every day. All we needed was one more. You didn't record it? I didn't put it like this. Oh, you covered it? Because I don't know if Dad moves my hand like this. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's good. It's the same difference. It makes better film. Yeah. Never mind. Well. Ah. 
We gave her one heck of a run today. We were so, so close, so close. It's unreal. The first days where we messed up, to be honest, and here's the thought process that really made us realize and catch more fish today was um, right now these bass are moving towards a fall pattern. They're moving towards a fall pattern and we're not used to fishing a lake like this, a lake as deep, uh, where the fish hold as deep, where it fishes like this. And um, when, when people kept saying that they're gonna be catching them deep, that the tournament's gonna be one deep, and we just didn't understand it at the time. We kind of had an understanding. I mean, we got some nice electronics and stuff now to where we, have, we were able to see fish deep. We just didn't understand what it took to catch them. But um, we had found a bite during pre-fishing that we thought was going to be really good. It was in that little, like, uh, little crawl that I was showing around. And um, that bite completely died. I think it's because there was too many boats. Tournament day came around, and it just didn't hold out. And on top of that, you know, we got two hours short tournament day. And realistically, we were one fish short of the top 50 cut. The first day is what hurt us. And uh, we, we came to the realization that these fish, they weren't looking for crawdads. They weren't. We were fishing a crawl pattern. And at the end of the day, that's just not what they were looking for. So we knew today that we were going to have to come out and produce in order to stand a chance at making it. And it was going to be cutting a long shot because we had a lot of weight we had to make up. But we came up and we, we did it, to be honest. We, we did amazing. I think we did a really good job. If we would have been able to, you know, recognize what it needed to take to catch a limit the first day, we definitely would have made it because uh, it was close. And as of right now, the 50th place, we have like almost 18 pounds, I think it is. And right now, 50th place is in uh, like the 19s, I think. It might push 20-ish. But think about this, if we were right about 18 pounds, maybe, you know, knocking on the door of that, one more two and a half pounder, and we would have been at 20 pounds. So, I mean, it's just how it works. Yesterday, I hooked a fish that rolled off on the drop shot, and then I, I had one in, in a tree. There's a lot of submerged trees out here, and I was flipping one, and he got tangled up in the tree and broke off. So, it's just how, how it works out. We just got unlucky. We did not capitalize 100% on our opportunities the first day and it, it costs us today so South Africa he's getting there's two left they caught him today was that South Africa yeah they caught 16 today no they did it 16 total how they made it. Did they make it as it or no? No, no. Oh no, they were they were the last two right there. If they beat or uh, 19 whatever, but they only got 16, so uh, the top the top 50th was 19 pounds. Dang, so we, we were extremely close at the end of the day. I really hope you guys enjoyed this series. We're gonna just go hang out with our family. Um, you know, go look at all the museums and all that here in Branson, Missouri. There's a lot of touristy stuff you can go visit. Yeah, we're probably in the 50s as far as the places go, which to me is just like a stab in the chest because we were just, I mean, we were that close, especially me knowing that I had some fish hooked up yesterday that we didn't land. But uh, we're going to go ahead and make the drive back, go pick up our boat, go eat some dinner, and uh, just enjoy the rest of our time.